Okay, creme fraiche. Creme fraiche is essentially sort of like the French version of sour cream. Uh, in my opinion, it's a lot more delicious. It's it's lightly fermented, it's a lot richer. I mean, I really love the stuff. I usually have it in my fridge on deck and I pretty much, whenever I can, sub it out wherever I'd use sour cream or another sort of rich cream-based ingredient. Uh, yeah, let's make it. Okay, so really simple here. We're gonna need heavy whipping cream and cultured buttermilk. You're gonna wanna make sure that the buttermilk is cultured or this isn't gonna work. And any container with a lid will work for this one. I just really like to look at these mason jars. Start with a cup of heavy cream, then the buttermilk. Now all we need is about a tablespoon or two of the buttermilk. So I'm literally just gonna eyeball it. One, two. Congratulations, you've pretty much just made creme fraiche. Give it a bit of a mix. I like to label it just so I kind of know, you know, when I made this stuff. Then leave it out at room temperature for one day. It's gonna take eight to 24 hours roughly until it hits that thick consistency that we're looking for. However, it must be our lucky day because I already have some pre-made stuff from a couple days ago. This stuff checks out at about 30% fat while traditional sour cream is about 20. So it's a lot richer. Another super nifty thing about creme fraiche is that it doesn't curdle under heat like sour cream does. So you can really use it in hot soups, stews, and sauces, that sort of thing. After time at room temperature, pop the lid on and store this thing in the fridge. It should last for about six to eight weeks, something like that. 